Island Turtle. Welcome to Balmy Spirit. This is going to be your monthly intuitive messages for the sign of Pisces. Um, keep in mind there's a part two if you resonate with anything that comes through and you want to go deeper. Linked below on Vimeo or Patreon. That's just Clyde. He's acting up a little today. So he might be pulling my attention here and there. Um, keep in mind these readings are timeless and general. So take the messages as they resonate. Pisces, let's get into it. So the first thing I was feeling with your energy before I started recording, <clears throat> excuse me, oh, Pisces, I definitely feel like you are working through some things that have been getting in the way of how you express yourself, share yourself. It feels more appropriate to say that, um, sharing your thoughts, your feelings, maybe sharing your own creativity, um, sharing your uniqueness, just sharing you and all of who you are and what you're about. Um, I feel like you're working through some emotional stuff that will help you do that in a much, with a lot more ease, okay? That's what I'm feeling. Can we say blockages? Sure. I don't even wanna go as extreme as to say you've been blocked. I don't feel that. I actually feel like there's been a lot of emotion that's just been pent up that has been correlating with maybe certain stories, memories, experiences that have taught you not to share yourself, okay? But that being said, let's get into it. Starting with the spell casting Oracle. Pisces, any messages or insights for Pisces? Breathwork will be really helpful at this time. Breathwork in general for the collective at this time is gonna be really amazing, okay? Um, there is this theme with the new moon Virgo. I'm recording this as of September 1st, just so you know. But there is a theme with the new moon Virgo of breathe life into yourself. Breathe, breathe life into your own life again. Um, and a remembrance that comes along with that too. And that's what I feel. I feel like you just need to move the emotion through. Like move the energy through. And I think if you do that with breath, I think that's going to work amazing for you. Okay? There's no breath card in this deck, but if there were, it would come out, I'm sure. <laughs> Any messages or insights for Pisces? I feel like you just need a good cry. Honestly, you just need a good cry, Pisces. Any messages or insights for Pisces at this time? Beauty. Pisces, I want to say you are, you have a window of opportunity to rediscover how beautiful you are, what is beautiful about you, what's unique about you, and what you can really share. Like, you can share that with people. Like, this doesn't have to be hidden away, but it's hidden away because you also hide it, like, intentionally, even subconsciously, because you don't feel safe to. You don't feel safe to share it. Some of you may not feel like a beautiful person or that there's not things about you that are worth loving and enjoying and seeing and experiencing, but there absolutely is, okay? Can I get one more for Pisces? One more for Pisces. One more for Pisces. <laughs> New beginnings. I just like, I'm just excited for you. I had that same set sentiment with Capricorn. I did them before you. Um, Pisces, this is, a, you're moving into a time where you are going to feel much more confident in what makes you, you, but specifically what makes you beautiful, what makes you unique and incredible and how you can share that, how you can share yourself with other people. That's how it keeps coming through. Getting a little bit of Leo energy, you could have Leo in your chart here, um, but even new beginnings, it's just, yeah, really indicating this is gonna be a new experience for you and a new way that you are navigating your world and relationships in terms of how you share yourself. And it's just, it's just really nice. And I really like it for you. Clydester, Bobby. He really has been just all over the place today, like when I've been doing the reads today. Haven't you? Haven't you? Mm. Mm. You know me work? 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ow. <laughs> Gotta cut his nails. All right, let's continue, Pisces, with the dreams of Gaia Tarot. The Oracle. I forget if that's a Tarot Oracle. It's linked below, though. All the decks that are usually linked below for your convenience. Couple of shuffles here. Pisces, something else that I'm picking up on. Um, some of you may have a pattern tendency. I'm getting like a little bit of a defensive energy. Um, and I'm feeling that with the Leo. Again, if you have Leo in your chart, you probably resonate with that more. Or this could be some defensiveness that you're experiencing with a Leo or someone who has very fiery energy. No! <laughs> I just don't have space for him up here. Bubby, I love you. Can you please let me do my thing? Um, yeah, let's come back to this like defensiveness because that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like a defensive reaction, but that's coming from an insecure place, which clearly you're working through some insecurities on, on how beautifully, I, the word beautiful just keeps wanting to come through. So you could also have strong Libra. We got a lot of Libra energy going on that would emphasize the beauty of life right now and breathing beauty into yourself again. But anyway, um, but yeah, the defensiveness is coming from a place of feeling insecure and inadequate. And I, whether that's coming from you or you're experiencing that with another person, it definitely does not help this feeling of I can't share myself because I am not worthy or I am not beautiful or there's not things to like about me, right? Um, so yeah, I'm just feeling that and sensing that. Hold on, Clyde. I love this cat. I love this cat, but... He too big for the table. Come here, buddy. I know, I know, but you gotta be. <laughs> He's like not having it, <laughs> buddy. But come here, just go over. Just go over. Okay. Yes. Please, just be chill, please. <laughs> maybe he will. Maybe he won't. I don't think he will. Anyway, let's get back to the Pisces. Any messages or insights for Pisces? Yeah, I just feel like you've probably had a lot of experiences of criticism um, where people yeah, really criticized you. And again, some of you may have developed a tendency to criticize others because you were so criticized or because you feel inadequate in some way. That's not everybody. I just want to make that clear. It's just something I'm sensing. Any other messages or insights for Pisces? Clyde is back up here. Ooh, really? Five of Earth. Five of Earth in, in this deck actually has a devilish energy to it. Clyde, no. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, he'll, he'll calm down at some point. He must, he needs to. Anyway. Five of Earth coming out here. Five of Earth typically in tarot is like a card of feeling alone or scarcity or lack mindset or even like rejection or abandonment to some extent, right? Even health issues. Some of you may have had some health issues that have actually been rooted in this deep sense of insecurity and shame and not feeling, I keep hearing beautiful, not feeling beautiful, not feeling unique, not feeling worth attention or worth affection. Interesting how that came out. But with this deck, this, the card in particular in this deck speaks to power. It's a card about power, abuse of power even. And he's also holding, <laughs> no, <laughs> he's trying so hard. He's also holding Ace of Spades and Jack of Spades. If any of you are into cardamancy, um, that could be... <laughs> Hold on, let me just hold him and see if he gets okay. No? It's because you want to be on the table. I know. If any of you follow cardamancy, um, those cards could be synchronistic for you. Or if you follow destiny cards, those could be synchronistic for you. Now, there are different interpretations, actually, between the two in cardamancy and destiny cards. Um, like, one would indicate, actually, health would be a part of this. Um, other forms of study sorry that the devil the devil guy is actually catching my attention a lot and i don't like it um like i keep trying to look at the cards and i can't help but look at him 
That's interesting. Hold on. There's some, there's clearly a message there. Hold on a second. Okay, Pisces, you're a very intuitive person. You're a very psychic person. You're also a very empathetic person. You see a lot. You feel a lot. There's something going on here, and I don't know if it's in your past or your present. I'm inclined to say your past, but it could be the present. There's something about being fed information from a source that you know is not good. Okay, that's what I'm getting from like a source that is manipulative, dark, ill-intended. This feels like a person, okay? And you knew the information they were giving you was not good or was just like a straight up lie or just a manipulation or false. Something in you knows that or knew that, whether this is happening presently or in the past, that's just coming through really strong. Like that wants to be known. And that is confirmation for you. And I feel like this has really impacted your recent past or your like your life, your journey, and especially in terms of how you view yourself. Okay. Yeah, it has this feeling of influence, negative influence, negative impact, manipulative influence, manipulative impact. Yeah, I almost feel like you were you have dealt with someone like this, either again very recently or someone like, or an archetype throughout your life that has exacerbated that feeling, right? And that's you in the background. That's what it's feeling like to me, being manipulated. Not quite conned, because a part of you knew slash knows. This is your confirmation, okay? that you were dealing with or have dealt with a very manipulative person and they knew what they were doing and it feels like emotional manipulation to me. Ooh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's move on. Let's get a couple other cards out here. And all it did was continue this illusion, this lie that you were not beautiful or you were not unique or you were not worthy of attention or affection. Huh. So this could have been a parent who was emotionally manipulative, controlling. That's what it is. It's control. Anything else for Pisces? <sighs> okay, we got to stop. Because, yeah, Pisces, I'm also getting now, especially for those of you where this was like a family member or relative, this feels generational, where maybe you had a parent that was very controlling and emotionally manipulative, but that's because they had a parent that was controlling and emotionally manipulative, almost like... Yeah, it's just a repetitive cycle. Like you, your parent was this person and their parent was this, but then your parent evolved into them because hurt people hurt people, right? And then now they do the same thing to you, right? It's got that kind of flavor to it. Um, like a passing down of just toxic cycles and manipulation and just grossness. And what it's done is kept you from seeing your true value and what is amazing about you. Some of you have been teetering on evolving into this, I gotta be honest, evolving into that, but catching yourself. Some of you are definitely having a moment of remorse um, for any kind of tendencies that you entertained that would have led you to becoming this, like maybe being criti criti critical of other people, um, manipulative of other people, because you were coming from that place of insecurity within yourself. That's not all of you. I'm just seeing it. We're all human. We've all done some shit. Okay, no one's perfect. All right, anyway, let's continue. Am I taking all of these? This is a lot. Just take the top. Okay. Two of Cups. Not surprised this is out here. This is indicating connections, right? Connections where we try to meet people at the heart to heart, soul to soul, mind to mind, I see you, you see me, kind of connections. Pisces, you're clearly facing emotions and for some of you behavior, narratives, tendencies of power dynamics, okay? Where you have been criticized, you have been emotionally manipulated, you have been controlled, you have been made to feel like you're not worthy, 
okay, in some way, shape, or form, insecure. Some of you have engaged in this yourself towards other people because you were subjected to it, just recognizing that. Some of you are actively in involved in relationships where you're dealing with people like this and you're still here and you're recognizing that. So it's really just this recognition and acknowledgement of past and present experiences where there have been power plays and manipulation all stemming from inadequacy to make other people feel inadequate and recognizing that you do not want any part of that. You don't want to feel that within yourself anymore. You don't want to even be pulled into behaving that way towards others because you want happy, healthy relationships because you want to meet people in that loving place, in that place where you can share yourself safely and also be received safely. And you want other people to have that same experience, okay? Ooh, can I get one more for Pisces? I do not like that sign of the earth card at all. Can I get one more for Pisces? So much cat hair all over me right now. One more for Pisces. Integrity. Mm -hmm. Not surprised this is out here. You know what integrity is. Integrity is honor, accountability, even a sense of nobility to an extent, but it's holding a certain standard of expectation that is healthy or mature or above board, right? In terms of how you relate to people, especially in terms of how you allow yourself to share people and also are received by people. You are discerning this, you're sussing this out especially within yourself, but also who, who can you engage with where it's going to be like that? Not like that. Okay. I'm hearing robbed is what I'm hearing. Robbed. Yeah. You don't want to be engaging in any relationships where you are robbed or you rob others of their own innate value and worth. Right. Right. Wow. Deep reading. Um, let's do animals. Animals really want to work with you guys today. All the decks I use are linked below. I don't know if I mentioned that, but this is the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck that I'm about to use here. Okay. I got a card for Five of Earth. Really don't like that card. I knew this was, gonna, I should have just called it. I was like, it's got to be Hyena. Hyena. Hyena is a bit of a Seven of Swords energy. It is trickery to an extent. It's a masking energy. It's the person that laughs in your face when really they have really bad intentions, right? Playing nice when they have bad intentions, essentially. Not surprises out here. We know why this is out here. I don't need to go into details as to why this is out here. And again, this is also referring to patterns of behavior that you have been subjected to, but also that you have dangerously kind of dabbled in and have tried to like call yourself back. All right. And I get a card for the Two of Cups. Mm. Oh, Pisces, I feel like you might be in for a surprise. We have Buffalo with the two of cups. That's very sweet. Because Buffalo is kind of like the tower card, but it really indicates changes that may be happening, but getting through it with ease and with grace and faith and gentility around the two of cups. So again, especially if there's any active relationships where there has been this energy entangled in it, whether on your end or theirs or both, this is seeing that, recognizing it, and going through the necessary changes and shifts within yourself and your relationships to get to that level of integrity. Not all relationships will survive it, and some of them can, like, come around. And if you're the one who's been guilty of this behavior, you're the one who can change the situation and heal the situation. But that's what this feels like to me. It feels like transformation of self and how you relate to others and share yourself with others, right? By recognizing the integrity needs to be there. Can I get a card for integrity? And with the surprise, some of you, there could be a person that comes in. Absolutely. We're doing a general reading. And so the cards can are indicating that. 
So I just need to honor what the cards are also showing. So something that's very possible and this person can literally show you the difference of relationships with integrity versus relationships with control and manipulation. Okay. Can I get a card for integrity for Pisces? I heard and where the lines are. <laughs> and where the lines are with all of these different ways of relating, right? Can I get a card for integrity for Pisces? Mm, worth it. Worth it. I So just to share, I went to put this deck down and it knocked a card um, up. It flipped a card up of another deck. Passion. Take that for what you will. I'm just, I'm not putting it on the board. I'm just, things happen for a reason. Integrity with B. I love B. B is, comes in a lot of flavors, especially when you consider all of the meanings of the medicine of B, not just accounting what's in this deck, but excuse me, energy. Um, to me, B is collective hive mind, community, right? In that sense, could also be sweet nectar rewards for a lot of hard work because B is also a hardworking energy. This is the rewards that, the sweet rewards that come from doing the work of having and maintaining and achieving integrity within yourself, which also includes allowing yourself to see your value and worth, owning that, and then finding the safety and, and comfort of who and how can I share that with in a way that is that has integrity, in a way that's appropriate, in a way that's healthy, in a way that fuels really balanced, loving, heart-to-heart -heart connections where we both can share and receive each other. It is the rewards for that. It may come again with some hard work that needs to happen, but it is what it is. I feel a little bit of a confrontation going on here. Hold on a second. We're getting into part two really soon, but I just, I can feel it. I feel a confrontation. Um, again, if you presently have anybody in your life where there is this energy that's active, there could be a confrontation that's about to take place because you're having this moment of recognition of what needs to change within yourself and within all of your relationships. That definitely could be the case. Now, others of you, not to get all dramatic, but... If you do have somebody coming into your life that's showing you relationships that have integrity, that could catalyze a confrontation um, with this energy, whether that's you in this energy or this new person in that energy. It does feel a little bit like something is stepping in on that front. Um, it does. Oh, how weird it does. It totally does. Something, someone stepping in. If that's a family situation, I would say that that probably is going to ring very true. And that's not for everyone, but I am seeing it and I am feeling it. So I just wanted to comment on it. But at the end of the day, Pisces, we're going to move into part two and we're going to get deeper with some tarot cards and get more details. But at the end of the day, this is you starting to recognize how power dynamics have really affected your relationship with yourself and affected your ability to share and receive others in a way that's loving, unconditional, and where there's integrity. You are very, I feel like I'm speaking to a Pisces or Pisceans or cross watchers even, where you are very used to power dynamics. You're very used to control and manipulation, emotional ma manipulation, and you're realizing why that is and where that comes from and deciding to be done with it which is not an easy path. And it's definitely coming with some towers and some hard work, but it's also leading a really beautiful connection to maybe some confrontations but and accountability, but it is what it is. All right, Pisces, I'm gonna dive into part two. I will see you guys over there. And if this is where we depart, I hope you enjoyed this reading and found it supportive and helpful. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye, Pisces.